What's up, my dudes? Expert Mouse 5 here, back with another video. Um, and um, I'm really sorry about my other video, the um, Happy Wheels one. I'm sorry. Such bad quality. I'll delete that one. Well, this if you're watching this video now, it's not going to make much, much sense to you because i probably delete it in the future. Or in the past. I don't know. I'm confused. Um, so, basically today, um, I just noticed that I, if I made drum videos, I got a lot more views and likes. So, I'm going to do another drum video. I'm not going to play. I'm just going to do a review on everything I have and show you guys what not to get and what to get. Um, so, we're going to start off with the symbols. Hey guys, what I got here... It's a Sabane. It's a thin crash. It's a 15 by 38 centimeter um, one. It's a B8X um, traditional one. Um, it's a really nice one. Um, so, um, whenever I was at, I went to Guitar. What's it called? Guitar Store. The Guitar Store, and they have drum stuff. So, I found this is really cool. It's a packet. It's it's two thin crashes and a splash, I believe. I'll be showing that later. So this would be a 15 by 38. This one's a pretty nice, solid one. Pretty good sounding. Pretty nice. Um, good looking. I would get these. I would get Sabane cymbals. Um, they're cheap. They're not, like, they're cheaper than other cymbals, but they're not bad. They're not bad at all. They're actually really good symbols for really good prices, and um, I would recommend getting one of these. It's a nice thin layer, as you can see. If you look at that, they have you have a nice traditional uh, line pattern on it, and in the back you can see a nice. It has a um, a dot pattern on it, which makes a um, a smoother sound makes a really smoother sound and I would really recommend getting the Sabane uh, Thin Crash 15 by 38 centimeter um, and yeah it's really good <laughs> guys this, as I told you in the last part this is another Sabane one. This came with the same set. It's a really nice one. This is obviously a bigger one. It's also a thin crash. It's a 17 by 43 centimeter one. And um, it's really smooth texture. It's a B8X series symbol. And it ha again, it has a nice, I don't know why I said it like that, a nice uh, rim texture. And um, again, another hole texture. But the size of it really makes a difference. And if you're, and it's way smoother than any other symbol, really. And I really like it. And um, if you, if you, if you're really looking for like a jazz kind of symbol, this would be a good one because it's nice and smooth. And I'll show you guys um, how good this sounds. And um, like I'll show you the jazz kind of thing. And um, this is really a good symbol. So guys, if you want it, just buy it. It's really good. And again, here is another uh, B8X series Sabane symbol. Um, it's a splash, like I said. It's 8 by 20 centimeters. It's not that big. Um, like you expect, it wouldn't make a big hit sound. It kind of makes it soft, kind of sound, kind of like a bell or something, a bell sign symbol. And again, the outer line rim with the dot inside, uh, which makes a really smooth sound. Um, this one sounds really good. There's not much to say about this one. I would get it, but it's not really a big one that you would really want to get. It's one that you'd probably get, you should get, but you won't use, 
you what I'm trying to say is you should get it, but you should get it. It's just I don't know how to pronounce, know how to really say it, but it's a good symbol. Again, the Sabane symbols. These Sabane symbols are really good. So I'll show you what it sounds like. Okay, guys, this is a Minel um, hi hat, and um, I think it's a thirteen. I, 13 inch one and I, again like these textures are amazing um, these it's an HCS edition see these um ridges see how it's different from the minor ones because look my yeah the minor the Sabane ones these minor ones are really nice this hi-hat see all these ridges how much there are it makes it a better sound if you look on the back there's another thing of um little dots except they're bigger which makes a really better compact sound and uh, these have these are really good I would really recommend getting these ones and um, uh, yeah these are really good and I like the little there's also ridges in the um, bell part of it which makes it really good um, yeah, you should really check out these Minel ones because I think the Minel, Minel has the the best um, hi hat. So go ahead and check these out. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna jump into the section. Of things not to get. This is a very, very bad um, symbol. It doesn't. It has no details on it, really. Um, it came with the drum set, which the drum set's not very good. Um, look at look how spread out these ridges are, and that's not very good. There's no patterns on the inside, so and I don't even want to play this for the symbol. It just sounds so. For a hi hat, it just sounds so bad. That's just how bad it sounds. It sounds like somebody just made a circle with metal and just put little lines in it. They called it a hi hat. It's a very bad hi hat. Do not get this. It's very bad. Okay, guys. Before we go on to the whole drum pad thing, the whole set, the drum set symbols, I just want to point out the drum stick. I use sound percussion ones. Um, as you can see, it's broken at the end, so I don't really have the thing, so, um, these aren't very strong sticks, um, I think they're for lighter, like, I think they're kind of for jazz sticks, but, um, these are pretty thick sticks, as you can see, um, has a nice, gets smaller from the end, it's really nice, um, I like, the texture of it, it's really comfortable for hitting with. Um, it's nice, but I would get a stronger one. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the drums. I'm sorry, guys, before we go back into the sticks, I want, I'm mean, back into the drums. I want to show you guys this t stick. It's not a traditional stick, it's just very cool. It's a light stick, it's from Rock Sticks to HD. Uh, you can order these online. They're pretty nice. The only thing, the downside about them, well, as you see, they're thick, really thick. And um, the downside is it doesn't sound as good um, on drums. Um, and you can see there's water in it, to, so the light would move. So, like, if you hit it with it, it would be like... Sometimes it doesn't light up as well, but... There you go, see that light? That... These aren't, these are okay, they're cool, but they don't sound as well. So let's get into the drums. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and get to the drum set. So, if you don't, I don't have the camera on the cymbals right now. I just kind of have them on the, um, the drums. Because all the cymbals I'm using are really good. It's just, I'm just showing you the drums. Now, this is a very cheap drum set. I would not get these, it's a... Well, if you want a really cheap one, they're good for cheap, but 
I don't think they're that, they're very good. Um, so they're called Stage Rocker Drum Sets. Um, I only got these for, uh, my parents bought these for a hundred bucks. Because they didn't think I was actually going to get into drumming. But then for my birthday, I'm probably going to get a Pearl drum set so I can play better. But these don't sound as well. And again, don't, the cymbals sound great. It's just a drum set. So just listen to the snare. See, hear that after sound like the kind of ring after it? It's not very good. I mean, you can tune it, but it, even if you tune it just right, it's not very good. Um, here's the second thing you can do with it. And that's, that's the second thing you can do with it. And, uh, not again, not very good, um, but it's okay for the first drum set you ever get. And now to the high tom. doesn't sound very good. Again, you could tune it. Still not going to be as well. Um, you have to like make them really tight on it to actually sound okay. And this isn't very stable. Um, it's a good sounding one. Again, for a cheap one, but uh, it's not very in tune. I've, I've actually tried to tune them perfectly, but you can't. Again, they're not very good. Now let's get to the mid tom. good whenever you do high tom and mid tom they're supposed to kind of come in together kind of like higher than lower but they're not very good together not a very well one again very bad ring i don't really like it they're it's not a very good drum set and if you're work for stage rocker don't tape okay it's just they're really cheap i'm sure you can get stage rocker drum sets for like a bigger price but um I, I still wouldn't recommend these. And now, finally, the low tom. Can't really see him very well. Here, I'm, gonna set the cam I'm sorry, guys. I set the camera. So I'm gonna see the low tom. Okay, you can see the low tom very well. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to point the camera right at the low tom. I'm gonna get up and play it behind it. So, here's the low tom right here. This is what it sounds like. Sounds like that is not very good again. It's, it's an okay one, but it's not very good, just like everyone I've said about these. So let's go ahead and get to the bass. They don't sound like, just like I said about all of them. The base, well, like the thing, thing about the base is I put a blanket in it to make it more denser, but without it, with being it tuned without the blanket, it's not very good. But with the blanket, it actually sounds good. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and do stuff, whatever you want. I don't care what you do, but um, thanks for watching, and bye.